uh, Diane is Jane. Hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for joining me again uh, on my channel. Uh, today I am coming to show you or I am making some andazi so I, I have my own way of doing them. There's different ways of doing things so this is the particular way that I prefer to do it and yes I am making mahamri finally. I love mandazis, mahamri. Uh, there's two different ways. There's the mandazi that they don't, they, we don't have cardamom or we don't have coconut flour on it. So, but mahamri do have those extra ingredients. So, what I'm, uh, the ingredients, some of the ingredients that I'm using are, first of all, is flour. So, here I have uh, wholemeal flour that is uh, in Swahili, it's yata or atta flour. So, it's... Uh, brown flour grounded and i have some plain all-purpose flour so yeah that's what i'll be using you definitely do need some yeast so i'm using easy bake yeast and i'm using i'll be using coconut flour that is i love the flavor of that whenever you make the mandazis it smells smells so good uh so yeah i, I got this and the cardamom, uh, green, ground cardamom in an Asian shop. So if you live somewhere where you can't find them, if you have an Asian shop, you'll definitely be able to find this because it's one of the staples for Indian cooking. And I'm using some salt as well. As you know, with baking, you need a tiny bit of salt to kind of um, adjust the flavor of sugar and salt and all that. And I'll be using some sugar as well. So I have uh, three quarter cups of sugar there and I'll be using a teaspoon of salt and I have some butter I'll be using uh, two tablespoons of look uh, uh, room temperature butter uh, a half a cup of milk and here I have lukewarm water that is 200 ml of water which I'll be diluting or I'll be mixing my yeast into that so that it can uh, mix up before I mix it into the, the flour and definitely for the baking you will need some cooking oil so there I'm using sunflower oil pure sunflower oil or whichever oil of your choice you have you can use that so those are all the ingredients that I have for now and I'll be using my food processor sorry food mixer <laughs> dough mixer not food mixer nor food processor so a dough mixer just to mix everything all together so and it just makes my work easier and quicker why not so yeah first of all what I'll do as I said I'm gonna start with the yeast so I'm gonna take a teaspoon and a half so I'm using measuring uh, spoons a teaspoon and a half of uh, dried yeast I'm gonna mix that all in so just give that a nice whisk quickly with all the other things uh, measuring my flour so I'll be using uh, three and a half cups of uh, white and brown flowers they add a flour here so one cup one add one cup and a half one cup and a half of the atta flour I find it just gives a nice texture and color rather than just it being white mandazis uh, so now I'll take my white flour now check your sugar add it all in I'm gonna add some salt so I'm using a half a teaspoon of salt perfect set that aside and I'll just mix this by hand quickly. You don't need the, the K beta yet. And I'm going to add the uh, cardamom, ground cardamom. So I'm using a tablespoon of this. So for the coconut flour, I'll use two quarters of coconut flour two tablespoons of butter add them in 
and I'm gonna mix it not break it everything uh, I've finished mixing everything from my mixer I'll just take it out now and I in this bowl I will add just a little bit of oil and rub it all around the bowl in there until it's all elastic and while mixed in and incorporated so just gonna form a nice round dough so what I'll, I'll cover the bowl like that and i will leave it near the radiator or near where it's warm and just let it dry double in size so what i prefer to do is that i prefer to leave it overnight see you tomorrow bye bye so welcome back uh, this is the next day and as you can see my uh, the dough has doubled in size quite a lot so I'll start by just so on the other side I have my oil already warming up on a medium heat and that's how my the dough looks like quite reason uh, I have some flour here that I'll be using to dust um, gonna set that aside so your rolling pin I don't know what that is called as I said and I'm using a pizza cutter that's what I'll use to cut my the dough into different sizes and I have this one as well uh, for cutting round ones or whichever size you want so yeah pretty good yeah so
all the old subscribers that you stayed faithful to my channel and you've left comments and lovely comments so i really do appreciate about that so yeah enjoy your mandazis in whichever way you want so i'm gonna have this with some nutella yes a cup of tea or you can have them for breakfast so i'm having a I'm taking this to church with me. Uh, we have a conference, so I was asked to bake something. So I thought I'll make some something Kenyan. So yeah, some mandazi, some mahamri from the coastal area of Kenya. Hope you enjoy and thank you so much and God bless. Bye bye. Bye. See the pretty light inside, so just enough sugar to kick you up and give you a nice flavor. So thank you so much for watching again. Mm. So good.